Hey, what's going on, traders, investors, crypto investors and traders, stock market guys and gals? We're looking at the Flare Network slash Tether this morning. This is a daily chart. This is tradingview.com is the charting service. We use the free service. You definitely don't need to pay for this service. It's good enough for the free version. The data is from KuCoin. It is 4.30 in the morning on the 25th of January. We are still in January 2023. Guys, welcome to the channel. Appreciate all of the subscribers. Hope you're enjoying the content and the markets are treating you well, whether you are bullish or bearish. We are looking at Flare, like I had mentioned. Flare got hammered yesterday. The... 24th candle. We got hammered. We broke our support. We broke back below our overhead resistance line. And the continuation so far this morning is still to the downside. So we're going to jump into this. Like I said, this is a daily chart and the flare, probably the last flare video we had posted. We had this support line so far was support this white line here and then we broke we found support on the i think that video was actually on the 20th found support and then we actually traded above our white overhead resistance line although not very strong still above it on the tw on the 22nd and then we started to break on the 23rd and then yesterday was the real big break so let's go to the three minute chart. Let me clean this up over here. Three minute chart. And let's see what's going on here. So here is where we got into the end of the wedge here. And we actually broke out to the upside. So that was a good thing to see. Pulled back, found support, very normal trading action. But then we broke support. I'm going to drag this forward. Something like that. So we got a break right here. And then we got a break right here. And so far, we are continuing to go lower. So this is a hard one. Don't know. There is not much... Let me, let me take a step back. I should say the reason why it is tough to find some support and resistance levels above and below the market is we don't have too much price data. We only have price data going back to the 10th of January. Today is the 15th of January, so we do not have too much price data. Let's uh, clean this up a bit. We were able to pick up some flare, like I had mentioned, and we actually do still hold that. We picked up flare right around this mid three cent range. So that position is well underwater at the moment. Let's call it right there. That position is roughly down 11 or 12%. It's a very, very small position. We just wanted to get into some flare. We actually didn't receive the... I'll have to check again this morning, but we didn't receive the flare airdrop. So from my understanding, I had XRP in uphold at the time of the airdrop. But looking back, I actually just missed it. So that is what it is. It's unfortunate. I was, uh, I think I was in the end of December is when I had some XRP over in the uphold platform and totally missed the airdrop, which I think was on the 12th. So we did not receive any of the flare token. Therefore we did a very small amount of buying right around that three to the mid three cent range. And like I said, we still hold that. It's very, very small. 
I went into that position not planning on putting a stop in. Like I said, it's it's very small. But unfortunately, we did not have any XRP on the exchange for the snapshot, which took place back in 2020 on the 12th, if I remember correctly. Let me know in the comments, did you receive your airdrop? Did anybody receive Flare over on the Uphold platform? You should have definitely received a portion. I think it was 15% they were calling for on the original airdrop. Let me know if you received that. Like I said, we didn't, so I am not even sure if Uphold has released that yet, but I would think they have. Like I said, let me know down in the comments. And then the percentage, I think it was 15%. So anyways, getting back to the chart, we didn't receive the airdrop, so we wanted to get into some. I like the support areas right here. And I like that we broke above our white overhead resistance line. But then we got a big break. And we continue to head lower. We are currently down 2 point. We are currently down 1.59%. So this is a tough one. Who knows where the bottom falls in place. We could be heading down to a retest over here on the 10th of January. That is possible. I would kind of be surprised if that low gets taken out. That low is at three cents on the money. This is the KuCoin data. But at the rate we're going, it's only a half of a percent lower we're trading at three five and that low is at three so that's kind of my thoughts i just wanted to get on here and talk a little bit about the chart and mention that the two levels that i had originally spoken about not too long ago have been broken so i didn't want to disappear on anybody who watched that video this was our original line of support. We liked the support on the 18th, 19th, 20th. We liked how we traded above our overhead resistance line starting on the 21st. And then things started to head south on the 23rd. Yesterday was a big, big head south kind of day. And today we'll see if we get any kind of follow through or do we put in a lower low and then actually close in the green. But it appears that our resistance line is back in play let me try to run this out for you i don't want an arrow so yeah what was once resistance is now resistance once again until we can break above this white line guys it is still resistance so come up some of my thoughts on Flare. I think long-term, Flare will do very, very well. We will see. This could be just part of the great shakeout. I had mentioned in one of the uh, Flare videos not too long ago, if you had a chance to go back in time, purchase XRP at $0.03, cents, would you have done it? I think I know the answer, but let me know your answer down in the comments. And I say that because I think Flare could have a big, bright future and the price from an investor's point, could, you could do very well. And right now we're at three cents. Doesn't mean we're not going to go lower, but I think long term um, investors should do well. That's just, of course, my opinion. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll be back with some more videos this morning, 4.30 on a Wednesday, I believe it is, the 25th of January. Flare currently down 1.51%. XRP is, look like it's basically flat. Bitcoin is, where is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is up a quarter percent. Markets got spooked last night right around 6 p.m. across the board, crypto markets and stock market futures 6 p.m things dropped like a rock we'll see if we get some follow through today appreciate all of the subscribers and i will catch you guys in the next video let me know your thoughts on flare is it going to 
do well over time or is it going is it heading down to zero